Shouldn't you be in Gaza, Mr. Blair? You came third in a two-horse race. What went wrong? Mr. Mr. Clegg, isn't it about time you did a proper sit-down interview? Disgraceful! You're disgraceful! What? Isn't it time you explain the uh, situation with your friend, uh, Mr. Werity? How come Mr. Werity's, uh, how come Mr. Werity's had 14 meetings with you in the last year? Mr. Green, how are you? Are you Mr. Green today or Grant Shutt? No, I'm Grant today. Can we ask you about this book that no, you uh, published on last? I think you would have won with a, uh, another more popular candidate. You are a bit of a Marmite candidate. Some people like you and all the people don't. That's an original question, isn't it? What's the answer? Back, well, you give me a chance to give an answer. It's typically you again. Listen. 30,000 majority, I reduce it down to 2,000. That seems to me a very creditable result. You came third in a two-horse race. What went wrong? Let's get going. What's your message? Where did you get it wrong, Maria? Third in a two-horse race. Why won't you Where speak? did it go did wrong, Maria? The party Maria? let you down, do you think? Speak now, Maria. Why won't you say anything? <laughs> I get the impression she doesn't want to say anything. Mr Clegg, how many women was it that uh, complained to Joe Swinson? Mr. Alexander, why did you uh, believe Lord Renard and not the women who were complaining? I think we're running behind, Michael. Thank you. Why, why are you avoiding questions on this? I've answered questions. I've made a public statement. You have not so done a, You have not done a television interview. Why are you running away from the questions? Mr. Clegg, isn't it about time you did a proper sit-down interview about the Renard affair? Excuse me, sir. Thank you. They don't seem to want to talk to you. I think it's because of you lot, actually. We're going to a women's centre now, Michael, which, thankfully, I don't think you'll be able to come in. <laughs> <laughs> now, Mr. Mr. Bloom, what do you make of the front cover of this, uh, your, uh, the conference brochure with no black faces on it? What a racist comment is that? How dare you? That's an appalling thing to say. You're picking people out for the colour of their skin. You disgust me. Get out of my way. <laughs> What's appalling about racist. making that point? You, sir, are a racist. Why, why am I a racist for saying there aren't, you there aren't take any black this people? And you've checked out pe the colour of people's faces. Disgraceful. You're disgraceful. What? Shouldn't you be in Gaza, Mr. Blair? Shouldn't you be in Gaza? What are you doing in London rather than in Gaza, Mr. Blair? Shouldn't you be in uh, Gaza rather than celebrating 20 years? Aren't there more important things to be doing? You've done anything right since you took over, Mr Lambert? When are you going to resign, Mr Lambert? <laughs> <laughs> so no brain fade today? Absolutely not. And uh, have you, you memorised your speech? <laughs>